So here's a, another do for you, and you do want to buy yourself a 3M M3000 hand masker, and there is no other hand masker out there on the market anywhere worth buying other than the M3000. This is it right here. This is the setup I use. I only use nine inch paper with my masker. I use, typically I'm using you know, inch tape on it, but this is a must have tool. Do buy this tool, whether you're a professional painter or a do-it-yourselfer, it's simply gonna make you a faster painter. It's gonna um, save you from get, making messes everywhere, and it's simple and easy to use. I'll have a video of how you actually load one of these, these things up and use it, and another video on YouTube that you can check out if you don't know, but Buy one of these things, invest in one of these tools, just like you would invest in a good paintbrush. So here's another one of our painting dues, and this is when it comes to ladders, this is a ladder safety issue. This is very common not to have these things locked out right here. And if you don't have this thing locked out, especially on six foot ladders, I've seen it happen more with my guys on six foot ladders, um, than any other ladders, but uh, even with three foot ladders, you'll start to walk up the ladder really quickly, put pressure on one side versus the other. And when one of these or both of them is not locked out, it's what we call a ladder snap or whip and the ladder will twist. And when it violently twists because it's not locked out, it actually just throws you off the ladder. And from my um, business experience, having a painting company for over 20 years, I've seen this happen a lot of times over and over. So it's absolutely essential that you take and lock out both these these um, latches on these ladders so it doesn't snap or twist and cause a serious injury. Here's one of the do's of painting, and this is one thing when it comes to um, your rollers dripping paint, do just keep this thing rotating all the time. When I'm taking and I take this thing out of my pan, I'm gonna bring it up from my pan, and as long as I rotate this thing, I'm not gonna get any drips if I don't rotate it too fast. I can hold this thing, do whatever I want. I can sit here and talk. I'm not gonna get a drip of paint. But what I typically do, I'm gonna load up my roller in my pan, and as it begins coming from my pan, I'm gonna be rotating this thing. I'm usually always rotating it when I'm coming from wall to pan like this, and you're not gonna get drips. Same holds true with the brush. So one of the do's of painting, always rotate your roller as you go from pan to wall. All right, so now I'm gonna be masking off any light switches and um, sockets. So one of the things I do like to use is socket blockers. It's an easy way to mask off switches and plates and they are reusable. They have an adhesive on them. They just come on and off and you definitely want to mask these off. I've got a uh, socket over here. Uh, previous painters didn't mask off and they got paint all over it. If you don't have the availability to get socket blockers, you can also just mask it off just with tape. And what we do is we use an inch and a half tape to mask off our switches and plates. So we can just take a piece of tape, put it over the top. And of course, you know, you don't have to go to this extent if you're really careful rolling, but it's better safe than sorry if you accidentally just roll over this uh, switch right here. You're gonna get paint down inside the switch. It's gonna cause the switch not to function properly. So it's always best practice, professional practice, to cover your plates. And the socket blockers actually work if you're spraying or rolling. They're an excellent little device to use. And once again, they are reusable too.